WEC ushered in the new season with its first visit to Italy's legendary Monza circuit. The prologue was a chance for drivers, teams, fans and media to see the 2017 machinery all together for the first time. We can't wait to get the season underway. Uh, lots of testing over winter. Uh, finally here. The last time I've driven a race car here was 2006, a Formula One car. So it's really nice to be back here at this historical place. The car uh, looks good, new design, new teammates. Hopefully we can repeat 2016. So we're here at the Prologue uh, 2017, driving the new Toyota TSO50. Really looking forward to driving around in amongst all the other cars and uh, some new teams joining the fray as well. New drivers at our own team at Toyota. So uh, it's all changed for 2017. We're going to try and take the fight to Porsche this season once again and uh, try and win the big one in June in Le Mans. And uh, it all starts here at the Prologue in Monza. 27 full season entries were on display, but all eyes were on Toyota and Porsche's updated LMP1 hybrids. Both teams had refreshed their driver lineups with Andre Lotterer, the big catch for Porsche after Audi's departure from the series. To race for Porsche is something very special, I think, for, for every racing driver. And that's what I wanted, you know. Uh, I had a change in my career um, as Audi stopped. This opportunity came up and I'm really glad. It's been an intensive first month to learn uh, about everything, the team, the car, all the systems, how to drive it, a new teammates, so a lot of new things. It's quite a big challenge, but I'm welcoming it and I'm really glad to be here at the Prologue and that uh, things get going a bit more seriously. For Toyota, three-time world touring car champion Jose Maria Lopez had swapped the tin tops for the TS050. To be part of the Toyota team in, in, in the LMP1 uh, is, is very special, you know. It's, uh, I think it's a place where many drivers would like to be. So it's, it's been a, always a dream to be part of a 24-hour Le Mans, to be part of a, a final LMP1 team. So. I'm really enjoying the moment. I just can't wait to be in the first race in Silverstone in a few weeks, you know. I'm really looking forward to that. In LMP2, defending champion Signatech Alpine Mahmoud will be challenged this season by former LMP1 privateers Rebellion and new boys Jackie Chan DC Racing, who set the fastest time during the test. While in the LMGTE Pro Class, Porsche returned with a pair of works RSRs to take on the might of Ford, Ferrari and defending champions Aston Martin. We are back 2017 as a factory team, so I can't be more excited. It's a dream come true and we want to be successful in the first season. For sure the project is for more years, but it's our first season and we have to be there. It's going to be like with all the others, Ford and Ferrari are going to be just as strong. Um, so it's going to be a, a full-on teamwork again this year. And then I think we have a good chance of defending our, our championship again. The season will feature nine rounds with the 24 hours of Le Mans at its heart. In the top category, Toyota edged Porsche in Monza test times, but that could all change come the season opener at Silverstone. Last year was um, a good and a bad year together with what happened in Le Mans. Obviously, it was very difficult to swallow, but we showed that we had the potential to come back and fight at the front again. So we know that if we do a good job, we can produce a very competitive car. And this year, the spirit is very high because we know we have the tools to, to fight at the front. I can tell you we are ready and it's, it's, uh, it's, it's a pleasure to be fighting against or fighting with Toyota for the victories. I think it will be a very good season. I think it will be a close season and even more with a few new challenges. I think even more will be important to have a, to have a good team behind us. We're ready for that. 